My name is Dr. Gina Stafford and I'm the Director of Student Services for the School District of DeSoto County. This video is to provide parents and students with information on the virtual instruction program being provided by the district during school closures. In this video, the main topics that will be addressed are programs utilized for instruction, instructional support during virtual learning, supports for students with disabilities, continuation of counseling or therapy services, accessing virtual coursework, and technology support. Programs utilized for instruction. On the screen, I have displayed the instructional programs and or formats utilized from preschool to grades 12. For the elementary level, in our Exceptional Student Education Preschool Program for students ages three to five, Individualized packets will be provided to the students. Students will be supported by the teacher and the paraprofessional via phone or virtually. For our voluntary pre-kindergarten program, we will be providing web resources. The link to the resources will be provided in the description. For grades K through five, we will be utilizing Schoology. At DeSoto Middle School, a Schoology and Apex tutorial blend will be utilized. At DeSoto Secondary School, a Schoology and Apex course blend will be utilized. At DeSoto High School, the format will vary based upon the course. Some courses will be offered via Schoology and others Apex. Although you may not be familiar with the instructional platforms listed, we thought it was important to provide you with this information so that you can monitor that your child is accessing the correct program. Please note, the instructional programs of students in full-time exceptional student education courses may vary from the list provided above depending on student need. Instructional support during virtual learning. Course content was created with the understanding that parents may not have a computer for every child and that internet service may be limited. Teachers have built the lessons to try to address these issues. Please talk to your child's teachers if you continue to have challenges that affect your child's access to the lessons. It is important to note that your child will be supported throughout the virtual learning process by his or her teachers. Teachers will be accessible to students and parents. Office hours for each teacher will be posted within the courses. Power professionals will be working with assigned students to provide additional academic support. English language learners and migrant students will continue to be supported during virtual instruction, although these supports may look different. Translators will be available. Supports for students with disabilities. We are supporting students with disabilities by infusing support structures into the instructional plan to provide them with accommodations. These supports may be provided by the general education teacher or any of the other professionals listed on the screen. The continuation of counseling or therapy services. If students were receiving counseling or therapy in schools, parents will be contacted by the counselor or therapist to discuss continuing services. If you're requesting virtual services, you can do this by completing a counseling request form. The form will be provided in the description. Accessing virtual coursework. You may be asking how your child will access his or her virtual courses. This will be done through the My DeSoto Schools web portal. A video providing directions was created. A link to this video will be provided in the description as well. Technology support. The School District of DeSoto County will be available to provide technical support to parents beginning on March 31st. You can contact the Department of Information and Technology by phone or email. The support will be provided Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The phone numbers you can call are provided on the screen. You also can email technical support at techsupport at DeSotoSchools.com. I hope that you found this information to be beneficial. Please remember that we will be posting continual updates on the School District of DeSoto County website and our Facebook page. Please visit often to obtain current information. Thank you.